Uh, welcome to Chaos Walking in the Kitchen, where today I will be trying my hand at canning tomatoes. I am washing them here in my sink and then I'm coring them. Today we have mostly Roma tomatoes because evidently that's what I grew in my yard. I thought I had more slicers, but they turned out all to be Romas. Um, so I'm giving them a good wash and I'm coring them before I put them in their water bath. No, not their water bath. I'm going to put them in a water to blanch them so I could peel them first. It's funny though, because I mean, look at all these tomatoes and I thought I was going to have cans and cans and cans of, uh, tomatoes but I think it ended up I only got seven pint jars not as much as I thought I would get here I'm adding the washed and cored tomatoes to the boiling water and right here I was like whoa I was afraid that it might splash back up on me, which it didn't, of course, because I'm used to putting things in hot water. So once I get this batch of tomatoes into the hot water, I'm going to blanch them for about 30 seconds, maybe 60 seconds, till I start seeing those peels start to come off. And that's when I will uh, start plopping them into the cool water that you can see me doing right here. I I give them a little touch, some of them, to make sure that they're like loose. But you can see this, the skins are starting to peel off right here. And it's really quite easy. You just go in there. And I didn't use ice water because I my refrigerator hardly makes any ice. So I just used the, the cold water from the refrigerator. And I just kept replacing that. And this part is actually kind of fun, <clears throat> excuse me, it's actually kind of fun because the, uh, some of the times you can just like grab hold of the tomato and it just like pops off like a little hat. But um, other ones you gotta, as you can see here, I gotta, you know, actually have to peel them more. But this was a very fun process and see you saw that one just comes off boop like that. it's like boop comes right off pretty cool so coming up you're gonna take a look and see my little manchi dog he's named manchi after the chaos walking series which is what my channel is named after he loves tomatoes and he would do anything for a tomato now all my tomatoes have been peeled and I'm putting them into my jars. I Once I get them in there, I'm going to squish them down because I'm canning them in their own juice. But here I'm just like going, how many are going to fit? I wasn't really sure how many I could fit into each jar. So I put a few in and then I started smashing them down. Man, I tell you, this gets messy. And who would have thought that tomatoes can be sticky? But they are. So just be prepared, uh, if you're not really neat about it, be prepared to wash the outside of those jars because they will get sticky. As you see right here, I'm squishing, squishing, squishing. That's how they get their own juice, just squishing down. And I have to remember to uh, not fill it too full because these need, I think it was a half an inch headspace. Right here, I'm trying to make sure that all the jars have as much product in them as possible with at the same time trying to um, eyeball that headspace. As I go a little bit further in, I, I'm going to uh, adjust more. But right now, I'm going in with the little debubbler tool that came with my canning set. And I'm going around the outside of each jar to make sure that there are no bubbles. I'm just releasing the bubbles. If you can see that when you do that, you can see the bubbles actually coming to the top. And then 
From there, I will check on the headspace with the same tool. I'll flip it around. It's got little quarter inch increments and I'll make sure there's a half an inch headspace with each one of these jars. Then after I make sure the headspace is, is spot on, I'm going to add some citric acid and I'm going to go around and wipe all the jars off with um, a vinegar. I'm going to soak a towel in vinegar and wipe all the jar rims off and the outside the uh, threads to make sure that my lids when I put them on will actually seal nice and tight and there won't be like any seeds or anything in the way. And from there I'm going to put them in the water bath canner and make sure that there is two inches of water above my jars and my I was using the Ball Blue Book recipe and they said to can them for an hour and 45 minutes so that's what I did and then after that I turned it off let them sit for five minutes and after the five minutes was up I took the jars out and let them rest on the counter for at least 12 hours and after that just the next morning I went and I checked all the lids made sure all the lids were sealed you know you should push down the lids and you shouldn't be able to hear the little popping sound then I uh, removed the rims wiped all the jars off labeled the jars with what they were and the date that I canned them and put them in my cupboard so Hopefully I did it right, and we'll see come winter if I have some canned tomatoes.